Hello again. Today we're looking at Vices by the Suicide Boys. Let's just get straight into it. Yep, yep, indeed. Let's listen to the main sample. Yeah, it's been compressed a fair amount, pitched up one semitone and chopped and then we've turned on playthrough because if we turn off playthrough it sounds not as good. It just, it may sound a bit jarring still but it just helps to sort of um, blend the chops together a bit easier. Uh, the speed has been sped up to 102.1%. Uh, I do like to be specific. <laughs> We've got some vocals. Fair amount of bit crushing on this. Yeah, just felt like it needed it. Uh, we've also got a slight pitch bend because we had we wanted to slow it down more than the uh, sorry we wanted to slow it down more than the pitch would change if you just have it on normal tape stretching. If you're familiar with different stretch algorithms, tape is the most popular one. It basically helps to uh, keep a sample sounding clear and not glitchy. Uh, because as you slow down the sample, the pitch will go down, like on a record player. Uh, if you have a record spinning and you put your finger on the record, uh, it will slow down the record. But you'll notice that when you do it, the pitch also goes down. That's just what happens. But with modern modern technology, we have these algorithms where you can slow it down without changing the pitch. Uh, and I just wanted to pitch it down a little bit more, so I just did that separately. That's basically it. Uh, we filtered it as well. We got rid of some of the highs. We applied the typical phone preset. If you're looking for how they get the vocals to sort of sound all uh, extracted from the song, they're not extracted. They just have a preset like this put on it, basically, where the peaks uh, around where high parts of the vocals are focused. Obviously, you have to adjust depending on what you're doing, but that's typically how it's done. <clears throat> and then we end it off with some compression. Yep, that is it. Uh, I was listening carefully to the song, and I noticed that there are some strings in the background. If you've ever owned a keyboard from the 90s or the early 2000s, you'll probably have a string preset on it that sounds just like this, uh, and your DAW probably comes with one built into it, like this one did. I think this is just a... a I don't think I made this one. Actually, no, I definitely didn't make this one. Some delay, some reverb. See? There you go. And that's all she wrote for that. Drums. Really crunchy drums.
thanks to the soft clipper here. Yeah. In another video, I mentioned how this type of music does take some influence from uh, metal, and this sort of drum beat also does. It's like a breakdown kind of beat with the symbol on top of it. I just imagine some chunky metal guitars playing on top of that. The drum beat helps to create these little pockets of sound, I think. Uh, keeps it sounding interesting. Uh, and then to finish off, we have a lovely sub bass. If you're wearing headphones, you'll hear this, and if you're not wearing headphones, then I'm sorry. Yeah, I like this one. I just ended it off with some typical glue compression again, in parallel. See, I thought that was too much compression. I liked how it sounded. This is, this is how I do a uh, parallel compression. If you've heard a parallel compression, uh, or sorry, if you've not heard a parallel compression, parallel compression is basically two of the same signal playing at the same time. One of them is heavily compressed though. Um, and it just makes it sound a certain way. So right now, this dry, wet knob acts as one signal. But then if I turn it down, now we have 29% of the signal is uh, being compressed. So it kind of, in a way, is two channels. So you can, you can immediately hear the difference it makes when I turn it off. Is this New York compression? I'm pretty sure this is called New York compression, I think. I'm not very familiar with my terms anymore, but this, this, is, this is parallel compression. See, it sounds way better with it turned on. And if you're wondering how I know when it's enough compression, I'm just doing what I think sounds right. There is no answer. Maybe it's, maybe it's here. Maybe it's there. It doesn't really matter. That's just what I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, so that's the whole song. And I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video.